Hey guys, this is Poet, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you this iPod Touch 5th generation running iOS 6.1.2. Uh, I know that uh, normally I go with the Android devices, but I figured someone in the audience may appreciate this. So, as you can see, it's nice and smooth. Uh, I have nothing running in the background right now, as you can see. Uh, so let's uh, change that. So we open up Calendar. Nice and quick, we have photos, uh, videos, maps. I don't think the maps app actually still works because I've opened it and it just sort of well blank. I don't actually know what this is, but it's being pre installed. Let me read that. Uh, I'll just quickly go through all these. That one didn't load. The App Store might take a second, but this is way faster than uh, iOS 9 on this. Oh, I actually tried installing every single, almost every single one of these apps in the top 200, and only like these three installed. And I think these are older versions. This is an older version, but these didn't give me a warning that I think. They might work actually, I'll try that out later. Anyways, let's continue. Game Center, Settings, and come on, camera, take a picture. Which apparently felt the need to use a flash. Oh, and can't forget about FaceTime. And there you go. So, uh, let's see. All of them are open. Open the calendar. Uh, that doesn't look like it stayed open in the background, but it's so fast it's hard to tell. Let's go to like settings. Yeah, that's still open because it took much longer than before. Minders and notes. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty quick, which uh, is kind of expected, but seeing this thing on iOS 9, it's, it's really nice. Uh, this is. This has the equivalent to the, uh, this is like the iPhone 4S, but it has the uh, larger screen, like the iPhone 5. Uh, but it has the 512 megabytes of RAM, and uh, same processor as the iPhone 4S, so. Uh, yeah. But it is actually pretty nice on this. Um, only thing I could really uh, use this thing for is uh, Spotify. And even then, that, that's a uh, much older version of the app, but it is usable. And we've got calculators and stuff on the screen, but yeah, load up real quick. So uh, yeah, Let, let's see if uh, any of these actually will work. Yeah, wait, never mind. I was gonna say it worked, but it crashed. Okay, so the YouTube app does not work, even though it's the older version. It's just crashing. Uh, let's see if this works. Oh, yeah, it looks like it is working. Cool. And slow that I.O. Nope, it doesn't work. Yeah, not sure why it didn't work in the App Store for iOS 6 if it doesn't work. So, yeah. I don't know why the YouTube app doesn't work. That doesn't really make sense to me, but it doesn't. I saw someone else saying it did work, but yeah. I'm sure I could find the uh, older version of it somewhere online. Uh, this is jailbroken, so I can set load apps. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And I just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, hopefully someone appreciated that. Uh, I was six. <laughs> uh, not really usable since no apps actually work on it. Uh, Apple did a pretty good job making you up upgrade. Um, Android 4.1, which I believe came out in the same year as iOS 6, can actually still be used today, although it's kind of painful to use, but... Uh, most apps work, uh, other than a couple of visual glitches here and there. Uh, I actually had to use uh, an old Evo when I broke my S5. And all the games I played worked, YouTube worked, Chrome worked, everything was to the latest version, even though the Play Store updated. Um, it was really slow since, uh, I mean, it was a six, no, five-year-old device running apps made for modern devices, but... Um, it was running a, what, five-year-old operating system, and it still got updates where it is. 
use iOS 6 and uh, basically every single app in the App Store needs at least iOS 7. Majority of them take iOS 8 and the rest take iOS 9. Unless you want to get, if you want to pre-order the uh, iPhone 8 or iPhone X, you need uh, iOS 10. So, I thought that was interesting. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was pretty quick, but I uh, don't have a lot of time or motivation to make a longer video. Uh, don't worry, next week I'll actually be making a slightly longer video. Probably going to be taking apart my ThinkPad, cleaning out the fan since it's having some heat issues. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next weekend.